Good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why would they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it, it has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed, double-decker buses lining up outside, coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world and boy does it add to the occasion. So it's down to business here. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Bernd Leno. I think his presence might make all the difference for this team. He's got lightning-fast reactions and uh, a coolness under pressure that allows him to make the big one-on-one -on -one saves. He's also very reliable under the high ball or when he's dealing with crosses, and I'd expect the whole defence to play with a bit more assurance with him in place. I'm thinking the same. He will be a central feature, no doubt. Partey. And, and the shot! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Aubameyang is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Away from immediate danger. Ball's gone out of play. Really good feet. Cuts it out. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Goes for goal! Yeah, look, let me tell you that when you're receiving a ball from behind, when you're on the move like that, can be very tricky to negotiate, but technically I think we got that right, and the finish was beautifully composed. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. Granit Xhaka. Aimed in toward, hurls himself at it! Tries to get it forward quickly. Saka. Well, it's a scoreline to raise the eyebrow. 1-0 to the underdogs. Saka. 
gets it back. And here's has a hit. Good idea, just poorly executed. Attempts to play it through, pumps it into the area. Partey. Holding. Forward it goes. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Tierney. Chambers. Chambers drives it forward. Defending of the desperate variety. That has put a stop to that. Coming up to half time, leading, and things are looking pretty good. Hoist it forward. Out to the left it goes. Here's the cross. Dealt with that well. Just brushed off the ball there. Looking to go deep. Chambers. the first half and there we are off they go for half time the breakthrough did indeed come in the first half but there has only been that one goal it is very very tight well they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to win with the lead at half time and that's definitely pleased the fans i think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half leading one nil at the break we're probably into the second 45 minutes well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. And that's a throw. And it's played forward. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better... Goes for goal! <laughs> Granit Xhaka. Holding. Tries to switch the play. Tierney goes looking. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Still just a single goal between the sides. Plays it through. it out of harm's way Tierney so Jim, what are you thinking? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour 
and the volley. Oh, good effort, he got plenty on that. Oh, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what was coming. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Gorgeous control there. Can he deliver? Oh, real danger here. Up to meet him. It's a goal. And this is getting better and better. Absolute gem of a cross that made the header simple. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle. But that was beautifully met, it really was. So that's two now without reply. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Yeah, Peter, and it looks like this defence will go tooth and nail to prevent him from, um, from getting another. He's looked long this time. Granit Xhaka. He's still going. Where to next? Oh, sweet feet. Looking for a decent ball in. Has a pop! it short, delivers across, Jansen gets it away, managed to get it away, ahead by two and just about into the home straight, Holding, does well to read it and intercepts. And here's Aubameyang. What a throw in. So here comes the substitution. Well, you have to feel a little for the player been taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. And it's William. Tierney. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Hoists it forward. And helps available out wide. Lovely bit of skill there. Goes for the cross. It's a brilliant interception. Holding. And time is up. A decent win via a very competent performance. Without doubt, they were the better side. And the result reflects as much.
Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Well, I have to admit, Peter, that 